brought uh, newspaper articles, so I've brought some objects that relate to the history of Seelands Grove. I've brought some photographs, um, one or two postcards. Some of the, the newspaper articles go back to the 1930s up to 2009. Um, some of the photographs are from the late 1800s. Some of them actually relate to my husband's family. We both grew up in Sealands Grove and have lived here basically all our lives. So we have, you know, a long history with Sealands Grove and things that have happened in the uh, area and the borough. To the banana split that was in the world's longest at that time, uh, banana split in Seals Grove in 1982. It was a um, fundraiser for the Seals Grove High School um, band boosters, and so they had a banana, you maybe already know that, banana split running from basically the Green Bridge at the north end of town to the south end of town. So these are some things from the banana split. The Billy Club, that the story goes, uh, belonged to the Seals Grove Chief of Police and this is his whistle. And um, he was related to my mother's family. Uh, his name was William Wolf and this is an article about um, his death. Uh, this is from the Snyder County Trust Company, um, which I, I brought it because it has a lot of um, businesses, Seals Grove business advertisements on it, uh, businesses that no longer exist but were a big deal. This I think is kind of interesting. I don't know if it'll photograph well because it's in the frame. Um, my husband's family came from Wales in the 1870s. Um, they first settled in Shenandoah and then they moved to Seals Grove. He was a tailor and this is a picture of his, the Phillips Tailor Shop. Um, the Seals Grove Post Office is right here and the tailor shop was right there.